Well, I was really pleased tonight uh, because I was incredibly nervous going into this game, having watched a lot of film on North Alabama. Uh, we talked about that. Uh, they're very, very well coached. A lot of veteran guards that came back from last year's team that barely lost in the championship of the ASUN. Uh, they they uh, really shoot the ball well. They're going to win a lot of games in their conference. So I'm very pleased that uh, we got off to a good start. And the, the things that stood out to me is, number one, we held them to 31% from the field. That was excellent defense to hold a team that is skilled as they are to 31%. And they took, you know, 32 threes, made eight of them. Uh, which is good, only 25%. We outboard them by 10. I thought we did a great job the first half of uh, not turning the ball over. We only had five at halftime, but we ended up with 15. Got a little, little careless in the second half, and have got to do a better job there. We had 12 steals. I, I thought, though, when you go right down the list, you look at you know Cameron's defense, Garrison's, DJ's, Iverson, Shaq, Cam Carter gave us huge minutes off the bench tonight. Uh, really played well. I mean, he was exceptional today, uh, the young freshman, especially at the defensive end of the floor. And then Matthew's 14 rebounds were phenomenal. I mean, 14 rebounds is really hard to do in a Division One game, and he, he was he was tremendous. Four assists, two blocks, two steals, uh, three for five from the field. I mean, he did it. He had a great overall game, and played outstanding defense. He's arguably the best defender we have on our team. Uh, I thought DJ uh, was really, really good sharing the ball. Uh, a lot of things he does doesn't show up the way he moves it. Garrison really was dominant tonight in the post early in the game, which got us off to a good start. Questions? Paul Jones, go ahead and bat lead off, Paul. Coach, obviously last year, Fast break and transition could, was kind of an adventure for you guys, but tonight you outscored 23 to four in fast break points. Looked a lot smoother and, and a lot calmer running the break. What'd you think about that? Well, I, I think that uh, we got a lot of those fast breaks from our defense. We got a lot of stops. Uh, we had a lot of opportunity because they missed a lot of shots. You know, we had them down 33 to 11, and you can see they're a good team because they did not wilt. They came right back to cut that in half at halftime. Uh, but I thought we did a good job. Of, and, you know, I thought Shaq was good there. I thought Cam Carter did good. DJ's like having a guard handle the ball on the perimeter when he's pushing it. So, uh, overall, it was good. Andy, go ahead. Jump in there, Andy. Hey, Ben. Uh, how comfortable did Garrison Brooks look tonight playing the five? Obviously, he hadn't really done that a lot at UNC, but maybe in practice had yeah, we're doing it because we don't want J.D. to get in foul trouble. We had started them together earlier. I think uh, having the way this team w was set up that we're playing tonight, you had to have like a, a four-man who playing like a guard position like Cam and Derek can both do because they're just trying to stretch you out, stretch the floor. But uh, I thought he did great. I thought he was phenomenal. And, and basically, he's played some minutes there before at UNC and – the way they play their four-man at UNC, it's like a five-man because they never let them step out. Stefan, go ahead, jump in there, Stefan. Yeah, just to follow up there a little bit on Garrison, there were a couple stretches there in the second half. I think they cut it nine, and then they cut it seven, and, and in both occasions, it was Garrison kind of getting a score for you guys. I mean, how much do you just think his veteran inside presence can, can present, you know, in, in stretches where you, might, you guys might be struggling to get the bucket? I think it's really important. And, you know, he's been in a lot of big games. He came out right away and was very effective and aggressive trying to score. Uh, you know, he has a harder time scoring in practice. You know, they, they did not match up well inside with us tonight. That was an advantage for us, either with J.D. or with Garrison. They finally went to doubling. And, uh, you know, you can see it was a very physical game, too. They, they, there was a lot of physicality out there tonight, which I think is good for us. Courtney, go ahead and hop in there, Courtney. Coach, those 23 fast break points, how happy were you with just the tempo that your team played with tonight? I thought we did a good job. We pushed it when it was there for us, and then when we didn't, I thought we did a pretty good job executing a lot of our half-court stuff. We still have a lot of things to get better at in terms of execution of our plays, of our sets. Uh, we have guys that we're asking to play multiple positions like Shaquille, 
he's got to know plays from the one and the two. Same thing with Cam Carter. Uh, same thing with Matthews. Same thing with Jeffries. And we have like, you know, 20 plus sets already in. So there's a lot, lot to learn. Tanner, go ahead, Tanner. Uh, Coach, you mentioned Shaquille Moore there. Um, when, when everybody's back healthy, how big of a role do you see him playing in this really deep guard rotation? Uh, I think he's going to play a huge role. I mean, uh, we're counting on him to be, uh, you know, uh, one of our most important guys all year long. He played well tonight. Hit a big three early in the game that kind of really got so – he's a very, very good shooter. And I thought he, he – he, you know, like that steal he got there, we took a timeout because uh, we were pretty tired. I took a full timeout up 12 or 14. I, I, I had to look and see. It was like 6.32 or 6.42. And then, boom, we, we scored three times in a row off some defensive down. He had that one steal for a dunk. That was an amazing play for a guy who's barefoot, maybe six feet tall, probably uh, an inch under. I mean, he has a 43-inch vertical. I thought Cam Matthews' two dunks were just monstrous. I got really excited. I, I loved those. And you could see our fans were very much into it. So that was fun tonight. It was a fun atmosphere against a team who's going to win a lot of games in my opinion, in North Alabama. We'll go back to Paul. Paul, go ahead. Coach, obviously uh, the competition steps up a little bit more later this week with Montana. Uh, what have you seen from them? You know, they're really well coached. Uh, I was just talking about on the radio, you know, I grew up playing against them in college at Weber State. And, you know, I played against a guy named Michael Ray Richardson at Montana, who was the fourth pick in the draft and an all-star for the Knicks in the NBA. But they have a great history and tradition of basketball there. Judd Heathcote, uh, Jim Brandenburg, Mike Montgomery, Stu Morrill, Blaine Taylor. Their current coach played there and is a really good coach. I mean, they have a system they run. And the thing about Montana, they have everybody back from last year, including their bigs. Their leading scorer was their five-man last year. He's back. Their four-man, I think, is their most dangerous player. He's a kid from Australia, 6'9 or 6'10, really good player, very skilled. All their guards are back. They really shoot it. And you're correct. They're picked to win their league. They're picked to win the Big Sky Conference and go to the NCAA tournament. And honestly, I'll be surprised if they don't because they're really, really good and very well coached. So we don't have any gimmies. We did that on purpose. Every one of our games is going to be hard. And uh, I thought our guys really responded well to that fact tonight in their preparation. We've got time for a few more. We'll go back to Andy. Andy, go ahead. Hey, Ben, we, we saw Rocket Wise warming up today. How encouraging was that and maybe how close maybe you see to a, uh, to a return to full game action? I'm hoping that he'll be available to us uh, next Wednesday. That's my target date for him. Uh, you know, I was so nervous about this game. You know, I even thought maybe he'd have to get in there, but thankfully. I tell you guys, I, I can't say enough again about Cam Carter's minutes tonight for us. They were huge. He did as good a job as anybody we have pressuring the ball and getting in the ball. He was really effective uh, in terms of, in terms of the defense, and he still he had a nice three that kind of rolled in for us. That was big in the first half. You know, seeing him play like that gives me a lot of confidence that we can. You know, see him continue to grow this season. Step on to wrap it up. Coach Garrison and, and Cam Matthews both said that you know since day one it felt felt like this team has a lot of chemistry even with these transfers. How encouraging was it for you to see right out of the gate, you know, in those first few minutes that the three transfers were able to make huge plays for you guys and, and kind of you know that chemistry rolling right right away at the start. You know, I think the chemistry that he's speaking of is off the floor that they're really a close-knit group. This is probably the best chemistry off the floor that we've had in my tenure here. And that uh, uh, you know, speaks highly of the quality of the character all our players have. And that's what's most exciting. And then you see it carry on to the floor. We have really good high-character guys. And that chemistry off the floor relates to playing well and, and a chemistry on the floor.